say something that needs a little fixing on Bar Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Restorations. Hey, check it out. I wanted to show this thing off. It's a real quick review, but it's something that I've had here uh, as a mechanic for the better part of 20 years, I imagine. Spill free funnel. You're like, why are you making a review of a funnel? It's not quite a funnel. You can see I've got it set up over here. This thing is a way of getting air pockets out of cars. It also allows you to run the car and warm it up to get air out of the system that way. And when you're done, it's got this nice plug. And let me get the camera in closer. I'll show you what I'm talking about. First, you've, you've got all these fittings, right? So you got your funnel. I'll go ahead. So your funnel is just about like any other funnel, but it does have this, which allows you to stop it. So when the car is full of coolant, you, know, you can plug it off, and then you stick that back onto your bottle, pull that out, and now you can refill your bottle. So no waste. And that's a big deal. You know, you're trying to fill up a radiator or an overflow bottle and just spills out of there. And the way it does that without leaking, you can kind of see it in the picture here, is you got all these different fittings. All right, so for a different size radiator next, you know, and it has some uh, extra gaskets that come with it too. But these gaskets go in, you, you find the one that fits, right? And then you screw the top down. That slides over the top of it and then tightens on like the radiator. So it is seized to the radiator. There's no leakage that's gonna come out this side. This part fits right in, and so there's no leakage there either. So it really is kind of a sealed system. And it really works well for uh, getting air bubbles out. So if you're gonna fill a system, now I have an airlift system and on a lot of cars, I'll just use that. That pulls a vacuum and maybe someday I'll show you that system working, but pulls a vacuum, the hoses all kind of pull the air out and the hoses pull tight and then water rushes in when you insert the, the coolant in that way. This system works well on Lexus, Toyota, Hondas. So you stick it in the radiator with the car cold, you fill up as much fluid as it will take, then you fill that about halfway, fire up the car and run it, and I kind of squeeze the hoses, squeeze that upper hose to help those air bubbles move along, and you'll just watch like giant bubbles of air come out and the level will drop. You do that for about five minutes, you know, and, and uh, or you, you know, if it's really stubborn, you can do it all the way till the thermostat opens up. And you can see all of a sudden new coolant coming in because we usually use chameleon, which is kind of a um, yellowish color. So green or pink or red will come through there and suddenly you'll see it, see it working. But I've got this camera here. I just did uh, some cooling system work too. So let's go over to it. I've already got the, the piece set up and I'll show you how it actually works. Right. So here it is. I've got this part, you know, set up on it. It's nice and tight. I'm going to put that in there. And then just like using any other funnel. Just like using any other funnel, I'll go ahead, and in this case, the, I do want to add the direct mix 50-50 pink stuff here. So I'll go ahead and put that in. And you'll see at first it acts like any funnel. Something on, okay, so let me show you this. This is another thing that I've learned by using this. Watch as I pour water in, or coolant in here. Then I stop. See how it's bubbling right there? It's like the easiest way to check to see if there is a leak in the system you just fixed. If you start pouring coolant in here and it kind of swirls around like uh, water going down the drain, that means that air is getting in here from somewhere. And chances are uh, the coolant you're pouring in is dripping out somewhere. So that is like a early warning. Uh, it really has helped many times over the years for me to, to know that, hey, well, if I see those little chug lugs then I know that this thing is working as it should. And it fits a lot of coolant. I'll put about half this bottle in there and you'll see it just do its thing. And once the car is running, you you know, once this stops flowing, you see the car running, all of a sudden you'll see those bubbles kind of pop out and, and you'll know that you're getting the air out of that system. And that's pretty much it. That means that it has filled all the cavities that it can. And you can see if I start squeezing the uh, upper coolant hose, I can get a whole lot more to go into it. And I can feel the, the fluid in the upper hose. So I don't think we have too bad of a bubble here. But this really works well. So like right now, if I wanted to, I can take the plunger, stuff it in here. And when I pull it off, I'm gonna lose maybe a teaspoon of coolant. Now I can take this 
and bring it over and use the leftover in that to fill the uh, overflow bottle. And then if anything's left, I put the plunger back in when that's filled and I fill it back into the, into the uh, bottle of coolant. So no waste, very minimal mess. It's uh, really a neat thing. And I think I paid like 15 bucks. Of course, that was 20 years ago. I'm sure with hyperinflation, it probably cost about four grand, right? But I can't imagine it's more than $25 nowadays. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car and we'll, uh, we'll see the rest of this process play out. All right, now with it running, you'll see you know, more air bubbles as the water pump kind of does its thing. I'm also pressing on the hose. But this is how we get all the bubbles out and it, it's so much easier than taking it for a drive, waiting for it to cool down and then having to go back through the, uh, you know, the, the overflow reservoir to top it off that way. I can pretty much already tell you that it's, it's about there, but if you watch, there's a bubble, there's some bubbles, so it just kind of does its thing. You let it run for just a few minutes and usually you get all the air pockets out of the system. You know, air locking engines can cause a lot of damage, and I think a lot of times techs overlook that. Once we've got it topped off, and it's, it's pretty much there, it looks like. Well, then I'll stick this back in here. Scoot out so you can see. You're gonna lose a little bit of coolant, just a little bit, but not not anything like crazy. And then I can take that and pull the plug. And I mean it's probably impossible for you to see here, but right to the fill line. Right, I've got no waste. that in there for a second so I can show you this so you see uh, there's a little coolant there that's gonna that's gonna you're gonna you're gonna lose just a tiny bit when you unscrew it you know because it's held up in there but I mean we're talking like minimal a real minimal amount that that we lost here doesn't make a mess of the car for the customer they don't see anything dripping we don't lose anything and we're helping save the environment so pretty cool product overall and one that probably just gets overlooked more than you can imagine. It's uh, made by Leslie, and clearly I'm, I'm not working for them or anything. It's just something that I've had for years, and I kind of promised on this new channel that I would uh, show you all stuff that I, that I use, tools that I use, and tricks that I have over the years. Well, this is a trick that if you're going to work on cars for a living, uh, invest the $15 to $25 and get yourself one of these. Till next time, my friends, take care.